Hmm. Huh, well, huh. I don't think any of us expected this, but I guess it's time for tech news now. Wow. Huh. Wow. Wow. LG is joining HTC and Oculus in the high-end desktop VR space. The company revealed a dev kit version of their Steam VR headset that many in the press are saying provides just as good an experience as the HTC Vive, if not a better one. The headset employs a similar head mount design to the PlayStation VR with a crown-like setup, but it also has the ability to flip up the visor. The prototype has an OLED display with 1440 by 1280 pixels per eye, 110 degree field of view, a 90 hertz refresh rate, and regular convex lenses rather than the ridged Fresnel lenses we find in other headsets. LG's headset comes with two controllers largely identical to the HTC Vive's with some small differences. It also uses two tracking stations just like the Vive because it was built for Valve's Steam VR tracking technology. We'll have to see when LG releases the consumer version whether it's worth the hype it's getting but right now we can all be thankful it's at least better than the horrible, terribly awful headset they released with the G5. It was really bad. <laughs> Running out of space on your PC? Might be time to grab a new SSD, or some of your own DNA. Researchers at Columbia University and the New York Genome Center have created a new algorithm called the DNA Fountain that enables storing 215 petabytes, that's 215 million gigabytes, in a single gram of DNA. Huh, well, then that's pretty good. The researchers synthesized DNA with some sample data and were able to sequence the DNA and translate it back into binary. Which is all well and good, except that two megabytes of data cost $7,000 to encode and another 2,000 to read. So, might have to walk back that SSD claim I made earlier. I think the research just isn't there yet. And in case you forgot about Bitcoin, I know I mostly did, better start paying attention again. The value of the cryptocurrency shot up to $1,268 before markets closed yesterday, which is higher than the value of one ounce of gold at $1,233. Bitcoin has doubled its value in the last year, while gold has pretty much stayed the same. Some analysts estimate the price of Bitcoin could reach as high as $2,200 by the end of this year. Do you guys have Bitcoin? Are we, as humans, even capable of fully grasping the concept of Bitcoin? Leave a comment answering either of those questions below. It's time for Quick Bits. Support for Google Assistant has begun rolling out to anyone with an Android phone, if you're running Marshmallow or Nougat, that is, and if you have at least 1.5 gigs of RAM and a 720p screen. America gets it first, as always, followed by Canada, Australia, and Germany. Okay, Google. Love ya. Showing pictures matching your request. Oh. Speaking of AI assistance, Line, the messaging app popular in Asia, has announced Clova, short for Cloud Virtual Assistant, which will also get its own Echo-like smart speaker device in Japan and Korea this summer. There were some rumors before the 1080 Ti's launch that the card would be sold exclusively by Nvidia, but Asus, MSI, Zotac, and more companies have teased custom versions of the card, so I guess that wasn't true. Mercedes is recalling one million of their newer model cars due to 51 reports of some vehicles catching fire. But isn't that part of the high-end appeal? Whoa, no fair, my car won't, doesn't catch fire. Ha, too bad. Luxury. Google hardware head Rick Osterloh told Android Pit that a new Pixel is indeed coming this year, and it's gonna be expensive. Oh, <laughs> thank goodness. I was worried it'd be affordable for a second. And not everyone will have to buy a new AM4 compatible cooler for AMD's Ryzen since a bunch of CPU cooler makers including Fractal Design, NZXT, Fantex, Cooler Master, Noctua, and Corsair are all offering free AM4 upgrade kits. See? There is good in the world. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. LMG, MLG, AMG, GMA. That wasn't that hard. LMG, MLG, AMG, GMA. Yeah. Oh, love you too, dude. And oh, if you guys want something you want us to say, hashtag NZXYodog is what you tweet at us. Hmm. It's that time again to talk about the Intel Rig Challenge. The contest ends March 11th, so we only have a couple more weeks to vote, guys. In case you haven't heard by now, there are seven $10,000 gaming rigs available to be won in the contest, and you enter by voting for your favorites, which we hope is us, but I mean, it's, it's a free country. You can do what you want. 
But if you do vote for us, you'll also be entered to win a GTX 1070. So the deal is, you know, a little, little sweeter. Click the I in the corner or the link in the description for all the juicy details. That sounded wrong. They're just regular details. And with that, NetLinked ends. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment below for fans with benefits. And subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, it's time for me to sleep the sweet sleep of someone who is very tired. Because I am very tired. Love you guys so much. See you later.